Here we're going to solve a pretty simple quadratic equation, but we're going to do it using an interesting historical method that was developed by an Islamic mathematician, Al-Khwarizmi, who was around during the Islamic Golden Age, around 800 AD. And he produced the first systematic solutions of quadratic equations and is also known as the founder of algebra. And as we'll see with this solution, it was pretty standard at the time to take something that looks like an algebra problem and translate it into a geometric setup and then work off of that. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve the following quadratic equation. So we've got x squared plus 12x equals 28. So today we would just move the 28 over and then factor it, but that's not how we're going to do it um, based on his work. Okay, so let's see how we can do. Let's maybe start with a square with side length x. And so this is our unknown side length. The next what we'll do is take this 12x and break it into four pieces. Each of those pieces will be 3x and envision each of them as areas of rectangles. So. I'll put a rectangle with width three here. So that means it has length x width three. So that means the area of that rectangle is three. And then we'll put complementary rectangles across all of these other sides. So this has width three or maybe length three and height x. Likewise, this is the same. So we've got a three there. And this one right here is also the same. So that is three. And so next, we'll complete this into a square. And we'll complete this into a square by adding the following edges. So we're going to add that edge, that edge, these two edges, and then these two edges. Now, let's see what we've got. So we know that the area of this bit that I am shading is on the one hand equal to x squared plus 12x. But the, on the other hand, it's equal to 28. So the shaded region is expressing our equation. Now, if we look at the rest of these areas added on, we see that we now have a square of side length x plus 6. So notice this is a square because we added the same kind of thing to all of the sides. Furthermore, we know exactly the area of this square because it's equal to 28, our original area, plus 9, plus 9, plus 9, plus 9. So that tells us that we have this new equation, x plus 6 squared equals 28 plus 36, where this 36 is the new area that we've added on. But now we can see that 28 plus 36 is equal to 64. So we have x plus 6 squared is equal to 64. So that means x plus 6 is equal to 8, which means x is equal to 2, where we disregard the negative root. So as you can see, this is really just a geometric interpretation of something that we would today call completing the square. But as I mentioned, during Al-Khwarizmi's time, this symbolic calculation, which is fairly standard today, was not super common. So all of these problems were often passed to geometric interpretations. And that's a good place to stop.